So, I guess the main thing everyone always asks me about is uh, finasteride. You know, everyone's afraid to take finasteride. I'm, I kind of get it, man. I mean, look, it's uh, it's definitely not something you you want to take. But uh, you know, I guess the truth of the matter is, it really does help. I mean, you know, forget about the studies for a moment. But uh, you know. Every single one of my patients, not every single one, I guess, but at least I would say 80% of my patients that have, I, that have gone on finasteride have experienced at the very least a, a nice improvement in, in their hair loss. Now, you know, I've done it myself. I've taken oral finasteride multiple times and man, it, it does have side effects. Like it's got side effects. Some people, they don't feel the side effects, uh, and by some people, honestly, I mean the vast majority. Really, like, uh, and let's not talk about studies. Just, just my own patients. So, really, I, I'd say, like, 90, 80 percent of my patients, they take the stuff. They never worry about it again. They just take a tablet a day, half a tablet a day, whatever dose we put them on, and they, they really have no issues. They have kids, families. And they just have a nice improvement in their hair. But now I know what the I know what side effects feel like. Uh, but the one thing that I really I can't uh, I just don't believe and because I've never seen it. I don't believe this long-term destruction of your sexual health. Uh, you know this whole post finasteride syndrome thing. I've never seen it. Never happened to any of my patients. I've been on finasteride multiple times. And yes, you know, if I do exceed a, I guess if I, if, if I exceed a, a certain dose for my own body, I start to feel the side effects and, and, and they, they're very specific. So I, I know and I've tested it. I thought it was just my mind. It's not just my mind. I, I know that I'm very sensitive or my body is very sensitive to a, a reduction in DHT. But every single time I've stopped, I said, gosh, I come back. I can't. I don't really want to do these side effects anymore, man. And uh, you know, so every time I've stopped, I would say, literally with it, and this is my personal experience, literally within two days, I'm like a raging fucking bull. Um, it, it almost like flips. It's almost like that uh, five alpha reductase activity really starts to flip the other way. And um, I, I feel that I feel the exact opposite uh, of, of the side effects. So, so it, it's something that reverses very, very quickly, at least in me. Um, and it's certainly something I've seen reverse very quickly in a lot of my patients as well. So in terms of, you know, these uh, uh, forever side effects, I don't quite believe it. I'm not, you know, I've never said that. Obviously the patients who, who are reporting it and, and, and have experienced this, they are, you know, we're not saying they're lying, but I just think something else is going on. I don't think it's just the finasteride that, that causes the, the, these symptoms for, for that very, very small subset of patients. So pretty much, you know, what I tell all my patients and, uh, you know, I, I think you should, uh, you know, it, it's good advice. It's really right now the only thing that helps, you, you know, you want to you you keep your hair uh, you've got to be on some sort of 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, finasteride, dutasteride. Um, that's worth a shot. That's literally what I said. Try it. Like, if it gives you side effects, lower the dose. If you're still getting side effects, stop for a while, reset. Try a topical. Try a good topical. Something with a, a low absorption. I've been using Zion lately and um, I think it's... I definitely don't have side effects. So, so that's for sure even though it does have a very high percentage of finasteride, 2.5%, uh, for sure, I, I feel no side effects with Zion, um, which is, uh, you know, something I, I always tell my patients who are very sensitive uh, to 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. So, uh, so again, it's worth a try. I, I'd say don't be, don't be so afraid to try it, and uh, definitely don't think that a hair transplant is the be all and end all of your hair loss when you say, ah, go, no, don't worry. I'll let my, fall, my, my hair fall out now. I'll just, I'll just do a hair transplant, uh, you know, 
in a year or two. That, that is definitely a mistake, uh, you know, for multiple reasons. So, so definitely don't do that. So yeah, I'm on my way to get a haircut now. And uh, um, I, I could just tell you, I made that mistake, you know. I, uh, um, I got a hair transplant where I should have literally just been on, uh, tried to do at least six months of an asteroid minoxidil. And I, I think I would have been pretty happy with the results. At the very least, I would have gotten a less aggressive uh, hair transplant. Uh, so, you know, every time I go to the hairdresser now, it's a, it's really a bit of a story because uh, I did my temporal points, my temporal points, you know, the, the people that did it didn't really parse out single hair follicles. There's like four hair follicles in there, etc. So, um, it's it's definitely hard to cut i'd say like <laughs> i'd say like 80 percent of the time they mess it up and i look a little bit ridiculous for like two three weeks but it is what it is you know that's my mistakes and uh uh, uh you know ho hopefully uh when i'm ready my brother dr eric he's gonna fix it for me and uh i mean look at the end of the day you know i i don't get me wrong i i really don't regret uh, getting my hair transplant because uh, honestly I I prefer the hairline I have now even though I don't feel that it's uh, as natural as it could be I, I prefer the hairline I have now to to the hairline I had pre-transplant uh, so I don't regret it I just you, you know there's there's definitely ways to go about this uh, to do it correctly so you're actually super happy the entire time um, yeah that's uh, it's pretty much my take on finasteride and my finasteride talk. Uh, you know, end of the day, yeah, side effects. And uh, obviously, you know, if you go topical, uh, definitely a lesser chance of side effects on the topical stuff. But still not impossible. You can still get side effects of topical. That's, you know, we know this. Um, but if, if you're worried about side effects of topical, then you can do something that is, you know, and it's a damn expensive product, the Zion thing. It's super expensive and uh, so it's certainly not for everyone. But uh, if you're worried about the side effects, it's definitely, uh, definitely something that doesn't give side effects. So, so there you have it.